I got another strike last night. My fourth strike. I'm down to one left. I'm not gonna. <laughs> yes, it works. There it is again. Oh, I'm really dreading this, guys. I actually enjoy using it, and now it's gone. Hey guys, John here. Welcome back to another full self-driving beta video. I got another strike last night. My fourth strike. I'm down to one left. I've, I've got a lot of people saying, oh my gosh, you're so stupid. What an idiot. You're abusing the system. You're not using it right. I never got any strikes. You, you have to be really crazy to be getting the... So look, full disclosure, everybody's car is a little bit different. I think my in-cabin camera is very sensitive. I pay attention to the road. I don't use my phone while I'm driving. I'm not fiddling with the screen. There have been a lot of times where I'll get these false triggers. So let me just put this out there. For anybody that's new to beta, be very, very careful because this version is a lot more sensitive than previous versions. And I will also say that if you get two strikes, from then on, you will not get any warnings. So for those first two strikes, you get these messages, please pay attention to the road. And you'll get that message, please pay attention to the road please pay attention to the road. The third time you get that message, you get a strike. After you get two strikes, from then on, you get zero warnings. I did not know this, okay? I did not know this. So every so often, I will get a, uh, a red steering wheel, say autopilot has been disabled for the remainder of this drive, and then I'll pull over and I find out that I have another disable event. So a they call a strike. You get five strikes, and that what I believe is then called a strike out and you are removed from the beta program. So a lot of people have been asking me, how do I find out how many strikes I have? Well, I think some cars might have three, but most cars I believe should have five strikes before they lose beta. If you go into the autopilot menu in the settings, you'll find the toggle for full self-driving beta. Right below that, your car has to be in park to see this. Right below that, you will have a description of how many strikes you have left. So I have one left and I have to be very, very, very careful. So I'm gonna enable it right now and we're gonna see how it does. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. And the car takes off. So again, I, I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled on the road, be the perfect model driver here. And hopefully nothing horrible happens. I will not be looking away at all. Now I have noticed with this beta software is sometimes if you stare too closely at the road, in other words, your head doesn't move and your eyes don't move, and if you don't blink for a really long time, you'll get a warning. So be aware of that, move your head just a tiny bit, but uh, don't be motionless because you will get a, please pay attention to the road message for that. So just checking, the roads here so i am dialed in for my final destination just going to swipe over to the right there i did finally get a 500 feet turn right onto montgomery oh. road you know i'm going to turn off the uh, audio there because we don't need that and i'm going to be very very careful as i do this <laughs> yikes okay there we go okay uh, not going to risk it any more than that slide it back over Okay, so I am at an intersection. The right turn signal is on the red. You can see a red arrow in front of us, and it says left on green arrow only. There's no message saying we can't turn right on red, but the red arrow indicates you really should not turn right. So thank goodness it didn't try to go right there. And then as soon as it turned green, it proceeded through the intersection there. So just a little bit of background on how I got as many strikes as I have. So I'm, I'm at four strikes. So the very first strike I received probably way back on version 10.8. I was getting on the highway and I happened to be looking at the screen a little bit too much. And I did get two warnings. And then the, the, the third warning, I had no idea would happen so quickly, but and I, I was actually paying full attention to the road because I was nervous and there's a there's a time period where if you drive for, I think it's less than three miles and you get another warning, that's when, because you can get, if, you, if you're driving, let's say 50 miles, you could get a lot more than three of those messages, you know, please pay attention to the road. It will just keep showing up. But if, if you get those messages consecutively within a short period of distance, that's when you get a strike. So I was on the highway paying full attention to the road and 
trying to avoid a third strike or a third um, uh, message, a warning, and for no reason, it, it gave me another warning, and, and it went instantly to a strike. So that was the first strike that I received, and then the second one happened when I was testing unprotected lefts. And I will be honest with you, I had my right hand up like this, and I was holding the my GoPro camera. I'm not gonna do it now. <laughs> but I was holding the GoPro camera steady because I had it loose so I could turn the camera left and right. So that's a little bit of an unusual situation, and I will say that most people aren't going to be doing that in their cars, unless you're doing a lot of videos like I am. So I was doing unprotected lefts. Okay, so it's getting in the left turn lane here. Okay, doing very well. See, I'm not even paying attention to where the car's going, even though my eyes are up peeled on the road. So we're going left here. But uh, I was moving the camera around quite a bit, fidgeting with an object right up by the camera. And I learned really quick that you, you I mean, obviously the, the in-cabin camera is really sensitive to holding a phone. So you don't want to be holding a cell phone for sure. And especially if you move your head to look at the cell phone. So I have a video that talks about the 1-7 rule where you have to look at the road for at least one second and you cannot take your eyes off the road for more than seven seconds. And that has been proven again and again in a lot of my videos. However, if you're using a cell phone, that rule is a little bit out the window because it will, it will immediately give you that please pay attention to the road message if it detects that you're looking at something in your hand. So, and that will, it will happen instantly. There's no waiting for it. it. It's gotten really good at detecting whether you're using a mobile device. So do, definitely do not use your phone while you're using beta. Okay, that's probably rule number one. Okay, here we go, green arrow. Going forward. Okay. So sometimes when you're in the middle of a turn, actually quite often when you're in the middle of a turn, it will ask for feedback on the steering wheel. That's one of my pet peeves. And you'll get a little notification, it'll go beep. And that same beep noise is used for please pay attention to the road. So I am now conditioned to try to avoid that beep sound because the next beep I get, I'm out. Uh, so that was the second strike was me moving my GoPro camera around and admittedly because it was I did 10 tests in a row I was not keeping my eyes on the road I was making sure my car wasn't going to crash so I was looking all around to make sure that it was safe and the car was doing the, the, the right things so that is an unusual situation most people are not going to be putting themselves through that rigorous testing like I did so I, I like to think I took that one for the team. The third strike that I got was really crazy to me. Um, I, had, uh, I, I was coming back from a friend's place. The sun was shining really bright. I pulled my visor down and I slid it over to the right. To, and it actually was blocking the in-cabin camera. I didn't realize it was blocking the in-cabin camera. And that, for some reason... And this was the third strike. And like I said, after two strikes, you don't get any more warnings. And I didn't know that. So with the third one, it, it recognized it couldn't see my eyes. And instantly, time out. You know, strike, red steering wheel. I, 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 I couldn't use it for the rest of the drive. So when I get home, I park it. And sure enough, it's a strike. So that was strike number three. Strike number four happened last night. I was driving home from a friend's place. It was dark outside. I was paying attention to the road. I It was 11.15 p.m. And I was a little bit tired. I will admit, I was a little bit tired. And this has happened before, is if, you're, if your eyes start drooping a little bit and like you're, you're noticeably kind of drifting off. Now, you can drift off and still be extremely safe. I'm not saying that like, you should never drift off, but especially when you're using beta, do not, do not be tired at all. Like, and if, if you think you're going to be a little bit sleepy and your eyes might droop just a tiny bit, don't use beta, especially if you have more than two strikes. So 
I, I, I was, I'm not going to mimic what was happening, but I was just very, very ever so slightly drooping my eyes. And it was, I my, my head was straight. I was looking at the road. I was doing the steering wheel action. You know, it kept saying, um, apply slight turning force to the steering wheel. I kept doing that. Um, my phone was in the other seat and it was, it was dark. I think the camera had a hard time seeing, but nothing out of the ordinary. I was paying full attention except for the drooping eyes. And as I mentioned before in the past, if that happened, you'd get a little warning. It would say, please pay attention to the road. So in that situation, I still thought that I would get a message saying, please pay attention to the road. I did not realize because it's not published anywhere that after the second strike, you get zero warnings and it will instantly give you a strike. So that was the fourth strike. So now I have one left. And like I said, I just have to be very careful. All right, so enough about that. I hope that helps all of you guys to avoid getting into the situation that I'm currently in. I really do. And that's the that's one of my passions is sharing my experience so that you guys can learn so that everybody can learn and hopefully not have the same things happen to you. And I have several videos that that go over that please pay attention to the road message and how you can get that message. And as I mentioned, sometimes it just completely triggers at the wrong time by accident and you had done nothing wrong. Okay, so we're going straight here. There is a car right behind us and we are going to be turning right onto the highway in about three miles. And I am really craving some coffee right now. I'm not sure if there's a Dunkin' Donuts, but I'm, if I do see one, I'm gonna probably pull over. Every small little aud audible tone that the car makes now, I'm super nervous. <laughs> I don't wanna lose beta. I sent an email to the beta team last night. In fact, I sent two of them, telling them to review the telemetry from my vehicle. Because that's the message that says, the telemetry from your vehicle indicates that you have been abusing full self-driving beta. So I told them to review the telemetry data and hopefully they can determine that I was in fact pay paying attention. And I just think it's unfair to not give you any warnings after two strikes, especially not telling you that. I mean, it took me two strikes to figure out that you don't get any more warnings. So that's kind of not fair. Then you're down to one left. Anyway, this is the video of me complaining. <laughs> Sorry guys, uh, I, I, I don't mean to sound like a broken record here, but I really don't want you to end up in the same situation that I'm in right now. Okay, so I have not seen a Dunkin' Donuts anywhere here. That's my go-to coffee shop. So in two miles here, well, we've got uh, still two miles. Maybe you'll, maybe we'll see one. So I would dial in a, a waypoint, but I'm too nervous to use the screen. I'm not gonna oh, take over immediately. Okay, I'm gonna do, see here, it just did it. I did, I did nothing wrong. You tell me what I did wrong. Okay, I'm gonna cycle power on the screen. Okay, just cycled power. Un freaking believable. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So I should have immediately disengaged right then and there. <sighs> you guys, game over for me. You tell me, what did I do wrong? So I just did a scroll wheel reset to see if this is going to save me. Okay, this next part I was going to cut out, but I just found it too entertaining, so I'm gonna leave it in. <laughs> I did these funny faces as a promo for the video, which probably will make it onto my thumbnail. <laughs> you guys, help me, help me. What did I do wrong? Tell me, what did I do wrong? 
Oh my gosh, what time is it? Eleven ten AM. Hey, you guys, look at I can turn it on again. I just figured out a hack. This is like the safety score hack. It still works this way. No way. I can still use it. Oh my gosh. So now every time I get this red steering wheel, I can just do a two scroll reset and I can keep using it. <laughs> no way. Okay. That is crazy. That's great. Oh no, it's gone now. Okay, no, the steering wheel icon's back. Okay, let's try turning it back on. Okay, we'll get over here. All right, and coming up here, we've got the highway. So I think we're in a good spot now. Um, someone's right behind us, but let's go ahead and try turning it back on. Yes, it works! Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, okay, you guys, if you ever get that red steering wheel, do the screw two scroll reset and you're good to go. That will never go on your record. Oh, I wish I tried that last night. Oh man. All right, so that was crazy. I was not doing anything except staring at the road and it timed it it gave me a strike. So you tell me, am I crazy or is the car crazy? Seriously. You tell me what am I doing wrong here? Apply slight turning force to the steering wheel. So I'm I'm paying attention to those messages fully looking straight ahead. The only thing I can think of is that it's it sees the GoPro camera. It's the only thing I, I can think of. Okay, so it's getting over to the right. Okay, there's a car right there. So I had to step on the accelerator there a tiny bit because the car behind me wasn't giving me enough space. It was right on the edge of being not able to get into the right lane. And turning right here onto the tollway, so this is going to be a good, a, a good little test for anybody that has never seen the car merge onto a highway. So one thing I've noticed with this, okay, so we've got quite a bit of traffic here, two lanes probably merging into one. I'm going to have to step on the accelerator here because it's always awkward there. Um, I didn't want to drift behind that. So now look, it's still at 35. That's a problem. So you do have to intervene here and scroll up to get the speed a lot higher. It's still saying 30 miles per hour. That is a problem. Tesla really needs to work on that. Nobody drives 30 miles per hour on this, on, on a merging ramp. So I, I had to intervene and increase the speed. So I'm at 62 and now we're essentially on the highway and now it's, it, it's forcing us over to the left and the car is not doing it. Okay, it did it a little bit late, but the left turn signal did go on. It just didn't execute the lane change quickly enough. And now we've got a semi truck right behind us, kind of in my blind spot a little bit. So it really can't get into the left lane to go around this truck. Now, we, it would be really interesting if I get another strike and I'm looking straight ahead. Uh, let's just do this experiment. I'm gonna move my head a little bit, but I'm just gonna look straight ahead. I am not gonna drift my head or my eyes. I'm gonna look straight ahead the whole time. So watch my eyes and my head very closely from here.
There it is again. Take over immediately. I did nothing wrong. Auto steer aborted for system error. I just saw that message. Auto. That is crazy. You guys, I don't know what is going on. My car is jacked. So I'm doing this two scroll reset here again. So I'm on the highway, I just canceled out. It was on kind of the cruise control mode there and it was stuck in that mode even as I did the system reset there. And it's routing with no traffic data, waiting for it to come back. What concerns me right now is that I am not seeing the steering wheel icon. It's not allowing me to turn on autopilot at all anymore. So I'm now much more concerned that maybe it permanently remembered that instant whatever that incident was that may have caused that to happen so uh you know i that's deeply concerning to me so what i'm going to do here is do another cycle power while the car is driving and see if that i can get that icon to come back up so i can enable autopilot once again here so to save you a bunch of time, long story short, the autopilot icon did not come back up again. The steering wheel icon did not come up again. And I tried changing driver profiles. I tried pretty much everything under the sun. So you'll see here, I actually arrive at my final destination. Before putting it in park, I kind of move it around a little bit. I'm trying everything possible to try to get it to allow me to turn the beta system back on again, but it just will not turn on again. So I eventually end up parking the car and having to, uh, you know, basically see if I'm now in beta timeout land. <sighs> I'm really dreading this guys. <sighs> if I put it in park, I, I'm, I think it's done. I like test testing beta. I like providing feedback. I enjoy using it. I actually enjoy using it. And now it's gone. Here we go. I'm going to park it. It didn't give me a message. Wait a minute. It didn't give me a message. Let me put it in reverse. No way. I can still use it. Yes, you guys, it's not over. Oh, I got so lucky. I don't know what's going on. So the reset thing does work. I do not have another strike. Oh, man. I was so worried there, you guys. Oh, I'm saved. Oh, so... So as you can tell here, I'm extremely frightened to use beta in fear that I will get another strike and I will lose my access to being able to drive with beta. Uh, thankfully that didn't happen today. We all know now that if you hold down both scroll wheels, you can get around getting another strike. So if you are at four strikes like I am and you do a, a two wheel scroll reset when it, you get a false trigger, that will save you. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.